Over the next few days, we are finally going to explore Big Bend, one of the few major national parks we had never been to. On this first installment, we're camping at Chisos Basin, arguably the more picturesque part of the park. We're going to take the scenic drive, hike the Santa Elena Canyon and the lower Burro Mesa Poraf. But that's just the beginning. Many more adventures await here at Big Bend. So buckle up, because our great Western adventure of 2024 begins now. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. You see that sign? Next service is 88 miles, so we're going remote here. Luckily, we have 193 miles of range as of right now. And it's starting to look more and more like the Chihuahua Desert. Now crossing the Pecos River, Mexico can be seen off in the distance. I have a feeling we're gonna see it a lot more over the next few days. Let's take a break at this picnic area. We're just gonna nook some Indian food and continue. We've kind of become addicted to this stuff lately. Let me tell you, when time is of the essence and you can use your microwave on battery power, these TV dinners come in really handy. By the way, it is a little bit smoky here today. As of this filming, there are some fires on the Texas pan handle, and it is really far away from here, but it could be related. Check it out! A yucca! Now we can tell we are really in the Chihuahua Desert. We're arriving at a town called Sanderson, population 654, according to the sign. We're going to refuel here, since gas stations around here are far between. We probably won't see another one until we get to Big Bend. <sighs> a gas station with a view. Well, Texas has these parking areas. Some of them are called uh, picnic areas. And when they're more developed, they are called rest areas. But uh, all of them have this sign here and you can't really see it but you can stay up to 24 hours in them. So I'm assuming you could potentially, you know, overnight moondog here. Um, and it does really feel like the Chihuahua desert here with all this vegetation. And they really, they re they've really made them look like, like the desert here. We're very close to the junction where we're gonna go straight south into, into Big Bend National Park. Yeah, state law prohibits use of this facility for more than 24 hours or the erection of a tent. You know, it's more like to sleep in an RV like us. Luckily, we have a reservation. It's a very tiny site at Chisos Basin. <laughs> hopefully, we can stay there. And, and this is a non-generator site, so hopefully our batteries will hold up throughout our time there. Anyway, let's hit the road. We still have like two hours to go. <laughs> In this area, we're starting to see these mesas the American West is so famous for. And here we are. Big Bend is $30 per vehicle, but we have the America the Beautiful annual pass, which is a no-brainer if you're going to visit three or more national park units. And there's no one at the gate today, so we must go check in at the visitor center. But tell you what, we're going to the campground first because I'm anxious. I'm anxious to see if we're going to fit. Jesus Basin, which is the campground we're going to first, most of the sites are really small. 
farther south we go, the more interesting the rock formations we see along the way. Those are the Chisos Mountains coming up ahead. This road, by the way, not recommended for trailers over 20 feet or RVs over 24 because of a couple of sharp hairpin turns coming up ahead. We are just a few inches over the mark, but I think it's gonna be okay. Here we go, this is one of those herping turns. And this is the Lost Mine Trailhead. It is very popular and the parking lot fills up quickly, so we're going to do that one first thing in the morning. Going down slowly, and using low gear is a must. Here we go, this is the entrance to the campground. Here we have the camp hosts. Our site should be coming up here soon on the right. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. This video is sponsored by RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. RVMattress.com is a Brooklyn bedding brand known for top-of-the-line comfort and quality. Plus, they have a factory in Arizona and they ship conveniently to you for free anywhere in the United States. They offer different firmness options and heights, dimensions, even RV-specific and non-traditional sizes to fit right into your lifestyle. When you're searching for a replacement RV mattress, well, first it's gotta fit, right? And then it's gotta be comfortable. Well, look no more. Here we have a short queen 60x74 in Mini Tini 4, which happens to be one of those non-standard sizes. We've had this signature hybrid firm with the Glaciotex cooling pillow top for quite a few months now, and it fits perfectly, and it is so much more comfortable than the stock mattress. It is very easy to buy online, free shipping, it comes right up to your doorstep, vacuum sealed, rolled up inside a box. And even though our trailer is tiny, it was still super easy to get it on the bed and unroll it. It is actually a sight to behold. Once you break the vacuum, it just inflates in a matter of seconds. Really, really cool. As I said, Brooklyn Bedding owns its own manufacturing facility in Arizona, so they are able to ensure that the entire facility is free of fiberglass, which is very important. And they are able to use premium materials at a reasonable price with no middleman bringing up the cost. They even offer a 120 night slip trial and a 10 year warranty. <laughs> we love our RB mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and I think you would too. So if you're looking for a new bed, check out rvmattress.com. You can click the link below or scan the QR code or just go to rvmattress.com slash travelingrobert and get 25% off your mattress with code TRAVELINGROBERT. And that way, you'll also help support our channel. Well, will you take a look at this place? This has got to be one of those bucket list uh, campgrounds, places to visit. And uh, this was uh, one of the major national parks that we had never been to before. This is a big bend national park and this is one of the two campgrounds we're gonna stay at here this one it's well Jesus basing we're sur surrounded by mountains and uh, such a what a place let me give you the 360 degrees here and uh, we're walking distance to one of the the, the, the best uh, trails here uh, in the campground I mean in the, in the national park and, I mean, it is a tight fit. They they don't recommend uh, trailers over 20 feet on that road. We're just a couple of inches. I'm sure there's like a like like a couple of inches of of grace, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, site 42. That's where we are. And um, yeah, we just barely fit. Um, 
Now we're going to go by the visitor center, see, get, get a map, get some information, and then maybe do a short trail because it is right now 2.30 p.m. and uh, at 5 p.m. Mount, I mean, is central time here. We're going to do a live stream overlooking those mountains back there. By the way, did I mention this campground is super hard to get, usually sold out? Well, I haven't mentioned it in a while, but we used CampNab once again, which is a great tool to find reservations at sold out campgrounds in state, national parks. You tell them where you want to go. You can even narrow it down to a specific site and they will send you a text or an email if it becomes available. Because as you probably know, there are always cancellations. You just have to act quickly once you receive that text and voila! Anyway, there will be an affiliate link in the video description. And here we are at Jesus Basin Visitor Center. And the first trail we're gonna do, it's here by the Visitor Center. And this is the, the window view trail. And there is a loop so you can take it clockwise or counterclockwise. Let's take it counterclockwise. Window view trail, 0 0.3 miles round trip. Piece of cake. Yes, we ended up doing it clockwise. We have it, the window view. There's a trail that goes all the way down to the window, but I'm having second thoughts about doing it. We only have time for a few trails, so we have to pick our battles here. I had no idea Texas could look like this. Just can't get over that, that mountain back there. It's such perfect weather. Look at that, the blue skies. This is. We just have to be careful not to fall off on one of these nopal cacti, right? Because uh, that could be painful. Yes, nopal, also known as prickly pear. Here's the main viewpoint. Oh well, yeah, that is the view. <laughs> It is, by the way, very easy, accessible loop trail. We had some folks back then, back there, kind of monopolizing the, the viewpoint, but this is another beautiful viewpoint here of the window. What time is it? Oh, we still have 90 minutes till the live stream. Yes, as you probably know, every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern, I do a live stream, like a Q&A, and that happens today. It's a slightly different angle. Interesting. I forget the name of this plant. It's very typical of the Chihuahuan Desert here. What a great start to our time here in Big Bend. That's Casa Grande Peak, which we can also see from the campground. Or is it Casa Grande? Mm, let me know. Okay, yeah, if we wanted to walk back to the campground, this is 0 0.4 miles, but if we wanna do the window trail, it's five miles round trip going this way. I believe from the campground, that same window trail is a little less. And that's the one that I want to do probably the day after tomorrow. Let's walk around the campground a little bit. This is the trailhead to the window trail.
Everything looks so beautiful at golden hour. The contrast of the deep blue sky with the rocks, it's just magical. I say this has really got to be top 10 if not top 5 best campsites ever good night everybody came out. It's a brand new day. The first area we're going to see today is Santa Elena Canyon, the farthest west we're going to go. We can already see the canyon in the distance. I am very pleasantly surprised by what I've seen here so far. It reminds me more of Utah than Texas. Who knew? this place. Desert Mountain Overlook. Let's stop really quick. Desert Mountains Overlook. Let's check it out. It certainly feels like the desert. The tallest peak in the middle, that would be Emery Peak. I was tempted to hike to the summit, but it seems to be an all-day hike. And I'd rather do a few shorter, more rewarding trails. the moon setting over Mexico. Let's see if we can see the Rio Grande from here. Yes, I believe that's it. Anyway, let's head to the canyon. Stop at the Santa Elena Canyon Overlook.
there it is, carved by the Rio Grande. On the right, the United States. On the left, Mexico. It is a very popular trail. There's hardly any parking left. We were actually very lucky to find parking. Someone must have just left. It is also still pretty early. The trail is a pretty easy 1.6 mile round trip with some stairs at the beginning. I am really, really looking forward to this one. Well, here we are approaching Santa Elena Canyon. That's the Rio Grande, right there. And we have a road runner. Actually, they are all over the place. You could literally cross into Mexico over those rocks. Well, here we are. This right here happens to be the Rio Grande. So, if we were to cross right here, that is Mexico on that side. And here's an idea <clears throat> that nobody has had yet. How about a zip line going from Mexico to the United States? That'll be a fun ride. Anyway, let's just <laughs> do the rest of the trail. That's part of the trail up there. That's where we're going. So, yeah, we're going to... It's hard to see, but we're... There's a, a detour here, and then we're gonna start climbing up. Well, yeah, I guess this is it right here. It's gotta be. calcite crystals very cool well here we begin the ascent up these stairs which is one of two big ascents on this trail i believe according to, to what i saw on the map gotta be very careful with this cacti I guess you can take a canoe on the Rio Grande. Well, yeah, the higher we go, the better the views of the, of the rest of Big Bend National Park. That is quite a sight right here. The fossils, these rocks, could that be it? Yes, apparently 100 million years ago, all this used to be underwater. Very cool. Let's check out the view. As always, remember to look back, like looking back. We 
can see the Chisos Mountains in the distance. And there is, shall I say, a commanding view. Oh, it's a little more steep than we were expecting. But here we go. I think it's here it starts leveling off. And we'll just walk on the side of the canyon here. That's the view looking back, the view looking forward. I mean, this is uh, very nice and relatively easy. I mean, we're like probably a third of the way there. We are now descending down to the river. Then we have some huge rocks. Look at the sheer size of that cliff. Well, yeah, the canyon is 1500 feet deep. Hello. Can't really hear anything. We're approaching these huge boulders here that we saw from afar earlier. This seems to be the end, unless you want to keep on swimming here. <laughs> so let's check it out. No one told me there was a beach at the end of the trail. I forgot to bring my bathing suit. Anyway. Here's the view from the end of the trail, although there may be a few other spurs that offer even better views. Yeah, maybe I can use AI to, to remove all the other people here, but this is amazing. Look at that. It's sheer cliff. Which did I mention? That's Mexico, by the way, <laughs> right there. Let's see if the view is any better from over here. Yes, there are several of these spurs that go to the river and might provide a better view of the canyon. All right, whoops. Oh yeah. Check it out. That would be cool, canoeing up the Rio Grande. This seems to be a much better view from back here. You can see the whole canyon back there and the sheer cliffs. I mean, this is amazing. Well, we could linger here forever, but we must get back on the trail. Let's see what the view looks like from here. Some of these spurs along the way are arguably the better views. I mean, look at this. You can see some of these rocks on the water and uh, walk to the edge, you know. 
You can see the whole canyon back there. This is very cool. I'm glad we decided to make this our first hike here. Well, our first real hike, because the one yesterday doesn't really count. Our first hike here at Big Bend National Park. What's back here, behind these huge boulders? Oh, there's nothing. I'm just going off trail here. You know, sometimes it's cool to investigate. By the way, just in case you're asking, I did bring my hiking shoes. That would definitely be something cool to do, to leisurely paddle up the Rio Grande, getting much farther up the canyon. Next time, perhaps, I mean, I don't know how soon we're going to return to Big Bend, I mean, we're gonna try and check off most of the boxes this time around, but this park is so big. This is it. This is where we start our descent. And off in the distance, I just realized that's the overlook where we were earlier before we started the hike. Now we have nowhere to go but down. Ooh, check out the road runner. They are actually all over the place. You're not afraid, are you? Beep, beep. Hello there. Oh yeah, that was a very, very rewarding hike here in, at Big Bend National Park. Now we're gonna take that road back and there's a couple more trails that we might do. This part of the park here just looks unreal, like another planet. It doesn't seem safe to park your rig like that on a blind curve, but anyway, let's park here real quick. There they are, the mule's ears. There seems to be a better viewpoint, so let's go there. This is it. As you zoom in, it is like a Monet. The illusion gets a little lost, but it's okay. Let's continue. Next, we're going to do the Lower Boro Mesa Porov Trail. I have a feeling this one is going to be pretty spectacular. Here we go. Let's check out the trailhead. It is one mile. Round trip, 120 feet elevation gain. And here's the map. Easy peasy. Oh yeah, what a spectacular landscape.
Looking back, we can even see the Santa Elena Canyon in the distance. I must confess, I had slightly low expectations about this trail, but would you look at that? This is one of the best kept secrets here, I think. Maybe it's not a secret, maybe it's just, well, it was just a secret to me, but yeah. It is getting hot. It's already, what, like almost 2 p.m. And uh, there's one more hike that we might do, so. This one is short, we're probably near the end. It's, uh, it's uh, half a mile each way. So we're almost there. That up there, that's the end of the upper Borough Mesa Trail, which is much longer and a little more strenuous. So maybe next time. Yeah, this is the end of the trail right here. Or over there rather. But, and apparently when it rains, you know, this becomes kind of like a waterfall. And up there, that's the end of the, that other trail that we probably won't have time to do today. But... This is... This is very cool. Yeah, this has got to be it. Where... Where it becomes a waterfall when it rains. Luckily, it won't rain today. Because... Uh, and we, we just need a little more sun because... We are in a no generator zone and the RV, well, it's, it needs to get all the solar it can get. Let's get some water and, and head back. Yeah, that's definitely the poor rough right there. Oh, another very rewarding trail here. And short, actually. At uh, the Big Bend. Burro Mesa, right behind us. That's a huge yucca. We're heading back to the campground. We're going to get something to eat. And there was another trail we wanted to do, the Basin Loop by the Visitor Center, but I think we're going to skip it. It doesn't seem to be all that scenic and we have a big day tomorrow. Well, after those two hikes, the occasion calls for some hiking food. <laughs> and chili mac with beef. This is probably good. But we followed the instructions. One and a half cups of water and grated it, stirred it. I have a feeling this is going to be hot. But it looks yummy. Hmm. It is hot. It is yummy. Just what I needed. As I said, tomorrow is going to be a big day. We're going to do the Lost Mine Trail the Ernst Inaha Trail, and we'll visit a town called Terlingua. But that will be on the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and see you on the road.
Riding in my RV